Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. For I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Let me begin this morning by saying happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers who are here today. Because none of us would be here without our mothers. Amen. 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 So we have a lot to be thankful for today as our as we move in our service, our Mother's Day service today. It will be led by a group of strong ladies uh, here today. Somebody say amen, somebody. Amen. Strong ladies, amen, amen. Uh, who will lead us. Our uh, worship leader uh, will be uh, Ms. Maddie Bond, who will direct us through throughout this service today. Amen. 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 Let everything that has breath, praise God. Amen.
and lead in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 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 Our invocation, my sister Brenda Moore. Amen. 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 Sister Nancy is going to do it for her. Nothing like having a standing. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Please bow your heads and close your eyes for a word of prayer. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning yes. and closing us in our right minds. Yes, Lord. Lord, thank you for encamping your angels around us last night while we yes. slept and slumber, yes. not knowing if we were in the land of the living or dead, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, thank you for sending your darling son down yes. here yes. to save us, Lord God. Yes. Please forgive us of all of our sins and all those who have sinned yes. against you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. Lord God, thank you for providing food on our tables and clothes on our backs, Lord God. Thank you for giving us activity of our limbs, Lord Jesus, so that we can yes, praise you. Yes, and Lord, those that don't have the activity of their limbs, Lord God, but those who are able to speak, Lord Jesus, thank you for giving them a voice to sing praises unto you, Lord God. Lord God, thank you for having Mary, Lord God, to be a vessel of your daughter's son, Jesus, Lord God. The, one of the most important mothers, Lord God. Because she was able to carry him here so that he could die for all the sins, yes, Lord Jesus. And yes, we thank you for yes, that. Lord. Yes, good. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord God, just yes. watch over us throughout our days, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Drive us on the protect perspective sides of the road, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord, protect those who are on their way here to worship you, Lord Jesus, this yes, Lord. morning. And Lord, thank you for allowing us to make it here safely. Thank you, Lord. Lord God. We just thank you for everything that you do, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Thank you for working things out, Lord Jesus, when we don't even know that you're working it, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord God, you said we just take one step, Lord God, you will carry us throughout everything yes, else, Lord yes. And we thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing for us thank now, you. what you've done for us in the past, and what you're going to do for us in the future. Yes, Lord. In your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Next, we'll have a scripture by Brother Charles Tomlinson. After that, we'll have Pitting of Flowers from Anaya Cole and Carly Anderson. Amen. find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her so that he shall have no spoil of her. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth she bringeth her food from afar. Come on, she raises also while it is 
yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a, she considereth a field and buyeth with the fruit of her hands and planteth a, vine, a vineyard. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yea, she reacheth forth her, hand, her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her, for her household, for all her household is clothed with scarlet. Yeah. She maketh herself covering of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing, yes, sir. and she shall re rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Yes, sir. Her husband also, and he perish, praiseth her. Yeah. Many daughters have done virtuous, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. Yeah. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her. Give her the fruit of her food. Of, I'm sorry. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Yes. Amen. God's words, God's people. Amen. 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 Amen.
For those of you who are wearing these red roses, nothing but tears of joy. Yes. Amen. Nothing but tears of joy. Right, the next we'll have the Blair's Choir. Amen. Then we'll have the best part of service where you give and tell the verse. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>
remember the part where you pull it out, put it in the tray, and it doesn't have to be a rainy day. Announcement and recognition of visitors by Sister Anita Woods. 
we'll have the pastoral prayer and a hymn of preparation. Good to see all of you. Uh, there are a lot of family. Uh, there is, I see a lot of grandchildren. I look sitting there, children, grandchildren, sitting there with Miss Gloria's Ellison. Amen. She brought most of the crew with her today, didn't she? Amen. Just a small amount. All right, well, God bless you. Good to see you. Uh, once again, happy Mother's Day to, to all the mothers uh, who, uh, who are here, who've done so much. Uh, yes. to enrich the lives of your children and grandchildren and others all around you. Uh, I am grateful for uh, being raised by a grandmother who was a praying woman, but she was also a whipping woman. Yes, you she, uh, she whipped me quite a bit, yeah. but uh, she finally broke me in. So that's why I can tell people today that they say, we whip, I whip my children and it don't do no good. I said, well, you probably, you just don't whip them the right way. I said, because I got mad and I changed, amen, amen, but so, so good to see all of you look so beautiful today, uh, God is, God is in the blessing business, uh, and we can, we know that because we are here, amen, he woke us up once again and clothed us in our right minds, thank you so much for your, for your calls, your cards, your prayers and everything, uh, in the passing of my sister, every day gets just a little bit better, amen. And so we will, we're extremely grateful. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Yes. Lord, we thank you again for each and everything. So many blessings that we can't even call them all. But first thing, Lord, you woke us up again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
and gave us a mind and a heart just to rise and have you on our minds. That's why we're here today. We're here today because of your grace and your mercy. We're here today because over 2,000 years ago, your son Jesus died on the cross for our sins, but rose for our justification. And so we're here today, God, because you are a good God. In spite of the way that we behave at times, you still keep right on waking us up each and every day. We're thankful, God, that even during hard times, even during times of bereavement, times of sickness, times of times of bad health, we know that we can continue to lift our eyes to the hills from which cometh our help. We know all of our help comes from you. So we come today to say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for all of these mothers mothers and grandmothers and some some ladies who who may not have any biological children but but rear other people's children we're grateful Lord all of us that are here today we're here because of a mother someone who gave birth to us someone who poured into our lives someone who was an example to us it may have been your mother, may have been your grandmother, may have been an aunt. It could have been a next door neighbor. But Lord, we are grateful today that somewhere along the way, it was probably a mother or a grandmother who introduced us to Jesus. And so we're here today, Lord, just to say thank you for all of the great things that you are doing in our lives. Lord, you've blessed us in the past. You're blessing us right now. And then there are blessings yet to come. Lord, we're grateful today. Thank you. And although there'll be trouble in trouble all around us, trouble in this nation, trouble in this city, trouble in this state, trouble all over this world, but we know, Lord, that you can do all things but fail. So, Lord, even during our time of grief. We don't grieve as those who have no hope because all of our hope is in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. But when we couldn't find a way, you were the way for us. You continue to be the way for us. And you told us in your word that if we accept you, if we call on your name, if we trust and believe in our hearts, that we'll be saved. So Lord, we are trusting and believing today. Because one day when this life is over, there's something better on the other side. But while we're here, Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for guiding our feet, directing our path, that we may be a blessing to someone else. Just this morning, Brother Frank and I stood out there on the church ground and talked about how you bless us to be a blessing to someone else. Help us, Lord. Even during those times when we're tempted to do wrong. Help us, Lord. Even during those times when you want us to go right and we go left. Help us, Lord. Help us. Even during those times when our belief becomes weak and fragile. Strengthen us, Lord. Help us, Lord, that we may be able to be a light in a dying world. That we may be able to walk right and talk right. Because someone is looking at us because we come to church on Sunday. They're watching us. There's a way to be in this life. So help us, Lord, that we may be, we may set the right example. That someone who is lost may find their way to you because of the way we live our lives. We thank you, Lord, for all of the things that you have blessed us with at Blair's Chapel, this, the work that has been done, the dedication that will be done later uh, of a renovated hall and fellowship hall. Lord, we know it is because of you. Because we are reminded in, in your text that said, without, without you, we can do nothing. Lord, we ask you to continue to bless our brother, Brother Tommy Lee Merriweather who saw fit out of his love for you and for this church to renovate this place where we are today. To renovate that hall, to renovate the fellowship hall. 
Lord, we thank you and ask you to continue to strengthen him. Lord, you know what he's going through. Give him strength, Lord. Ease his mind. Touch him where he may be weak. Bless his family right now. We thank you for our brother, Brother Leonard Elson, who works each and every day because he loves you and he loves this church. Thank you for all of the members of Blair who prayed for this to happen, who went into their pockets to help it happen. Keep us together, Lord, because we know there are, there are those on the outer perimeter who seek to do us harm. But Lord, we're reminded, yea, that we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We'll fear no evil because thou art with us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Bless those who are sick. Bless those bereaved families. Bless our politicians, our president, our world leaders. And then, Lord, search us. And if you find anything in us that shouldn't be, take it out now. So that we may be right, we may be saved, and we may be whole. Lord, bless our bishop right now, Bishop Marvin Frank Thomas Sr., who's carrying a heavy burden right now. Lord, we know why, while he may be weak, thou art strong. So give him what he needs as he continues to lead this first industrial district. All of the pastors who are standing in pulpits today, those who are going to speak today, yes. our own speaker today, Pastor Bo, Lord, strengthen her. Yes. Give her, give her a relevant word Please, that she may help someone here today. And we'll be ever so grateful we thank you for our children, thank you. our young people. Continue to strengthen them along the way. We're grateful, God, for each and everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
thinking before I introduce Pastor Bobo how grateful I am to be a part of Blair. Amen. And how wonderful it is that the Lord sent my husband and my hair like almost a year and a half ago. Amen. It's been great. Thank you for receiving us. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about Pastor Bobo. Um, she's a servant of the Most High God. Amen. She's been saved for 33 years and yeah, filled with the Holy Ghost. What you say? For 32 years, oh, she has a strong belief in God yes. and doing God's will. Her heart is a desire to obey God and go back to oh, heaven. I present to some and introduce to others Pastor Bobo. She's a pastor of the True Word Ministries, a Lifeline Ministries, at 5 a.m. every morning from Monday through Friday. And I will tell you, I've gone on the prayer line with Pastor Bobo myself, and she not only has words of encouragement and sometimes chastising, but she has taught everyone on the prayer line how to pray how to read their scriptures, how to really understand what's in the Bible. And that I know everyone there is grateful for. Myself, I am so happy to say that she's my sister in Christ. I love her dearly. And I personally know that she doesn't stray the line. I There have been times when I've asked her, come and do this with me and my husband and my family. And if it's not the right environment, she doesn't go. She's very much a godly woman. And I present to you here my friend, Pastor.
praise and we honor God this morning. We thank God for the glory. We thank God for his wisdom. You want to get, get back up on your feet. How dare you come in the house of God and you sit there. Your mother here. God gave you life. And you got the ability to get up in here. How dare you get to thank God. I don't club, I don't party, I don't drink, 
I don't get out. You sit down because I'm going to get you back up again. I ain't got time to pray with God. I got three children. Five o'clock in the morning, a.m. Monday through Friday. I've been doing this six years. My children on that line because God saved mama. When God saved mama, God turned their life around. Hello? I ain't saying they all of that because they mine. But five o'clock in the morning, and if I call them and I tell them what the Lord say, mama, what he say? I keep these hands clean. Nothing about this devil. Because there's a spirit of heaviness in here on the day. It's a heaviness in this church. I bind the devil. I bind the rebuke the witch. The soothsayer. Black magic. Voodoo. Hoodoo. Word curses. Words have been spoken on against this ground. I bind it in the name of Jesus. I don't ask God to send it back to the center. I need to send it back to the dry places. In the name of Jesus. Honey, whom the sun set free and free indeed. Some of y'all bound in any church ever service. You can't praise it. Y'all don't want to praise it. But let me tell you something. When you got to do this right here, and this your baby, oh God, my baby, my baby. Why wasn't you praising for your baby got this? Correct them and you ain't correct. Them. Oh, 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 oh. 
How, how you gonna do that? As we said, what you do that in? How you gonna tell them what they should be doing? Ooh. What you over here doing? The apple don't fall far from the tree. Oh, oh, now watch this. Yeah. The Bible say the Bible. The Bible say you should leave an inheritance to your children. To what kind of inheritance are you leaving? What you say? Go ahead now. Huh? What kind of inheritance are you leave? Mine were pimps, players, hustlers, and that's the life I live. At the age of third, in the third grade, when they said, "What you want to be when it go I said, "I'm be money. I'm a Mary Clyde, and I'm a Rob Bank." Cause it was down in me. Doug, it was down in me when I was born. I tell them I didn't join in, baby. I was born down the pimp's daughter. Huh? Let me tell you something. You don't move low, fool, and come old coming. I got street knowledge, common sense knowledge, and I got God knowledge. All right, yeah. All right. All right. See, see, let me tell you something. God gifted me. I can hear some of y'all conversations. Go read your Bible. Jesus walked in there. Jesus came in there and told me, why did Jesus tell me? He said, I heard your thoughts. Oh, yeah. See, let me tell you this right here why it's on because I disobeyed God last Sunday. Keep y'all mouth off, Pastor Cole. Uh oh. Who y'all got to watch? Oh, 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 oh. I, I don't talk to nobody. That's my manager right there. Ain't you being what you're manager for? I don't even hardly call her. She'll tell you. I don't talk to nobody. I don't need to talk to you. Because whatever I want to hear, I want to hear from God. That man is called by God. Touch not my Lord. I'm gonna do a prophet no harm. Whatever you don't like, you go to God. You have no right to confront that man. Let me tell you something. There was this pastor. I'll give you his number. You probably already know. You know him just. And I told him, I said, what God said, sister. I said, God said, he'll kill them. He'll kill them because of you. He started dying. I can tell you who it is. I'll tell you. I'm calling that. See, playtime is over with. Playtime, it's been over with. But have you not paid attention to the signs of the time? What you say? Have you not paid attention? God bless you, first lady. God bless you, all the men of God and women of God and my brother over there, I told him I was going to give him a shout out. Been knowing him about 10, 11 years. Amen. And, and what is it? Yep, 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 yep. I've been knowing him some years too. See, I ain't just met them. I just met y'all. Hey! Right. So watch this. Keep your mouth shut. Uh huh, because you don't know what you're talking about. Mm hmm. Yeah. See, God will do corporate prophecy. Corporate prophecy is. When this word go out, you know what's you. You know what's you. Or oh, he'll tell me that. Amen. Call you out. And I'll tell you what they'll say is the Lord. Uh. And I don't need your money. Because I can't sell what God gave me. <laughs> uh -huh. I pimp and hustle in the streets. I don't come to church and pimp and hustle. All right. I'm real with him, see. That's why I don't do a lot of things. I'm keeping real, baby. Yeah. But God been good to us. Amen. Good to He's been good to you. Amen. You're looking good. Yeah. You don't look like you on the Slim Fast program. <laughs> and I mean, you stop. <laughs> but you won't. Praise God. Yeah. But you want God to do. When they start looking for that vehicle. Yeah. That God told you not to buy. I'm helping you too. And you bought it anyway. You can't even pay for it. Yeah. So you hide. Yeah, hide. Repo. Yeah, yeah. So you hide. How see? You bought it for a show. What God said, when well, I bless you, I ain't no sorrow because you got what you want and not what God told you to get. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. See. Telling the break, oh yeah, that's true, y'all day long. <laughs> oh, I, I stay in the Bible. The word have I hidden in our heart that thou might not sin against me. God put me in a deep sleep and split the clouds up and opened up the heavens and a book and it, it fell in my head. See, when I came to God, I didn't know the Ten Commandments, I didn't know the 23rd Psalm. I don't know why I keep coming up here. 
He showed me the land for me. He's like, we on this side. We on this side. Because <laughs> y'all ain't in the same. I'm over here. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play. But he put his word in me. Yeah. He put his spirit in me. Yeah, do it. Yeah. So I'm telling him about things like y'all do. I asked God, and I said, God, why this, why that? He said, I let you live the life you live. Let me tell you. I know what the limo riding, the furs, the diamonds. I just drink good gin, champagne, and wine. Okay. Huh? You know why? He let me do it. What's going on, bro? You know why he let me do it, sis? Because he know when he's saved, I'm going to chase some things. Ooh, ooh. He already know. He already know. The money in the garbage bags and shoe boxes. He let me have the money, but guess what? He let me know. Money didn't satisfy me. When the police come to kicking in the door, I'm running and Big Mike Curtis uh, kicked the one down and throw it, said, baby, run, baby, run. Then I'm running from the police. He let me know then money didn't matter. But I found out money didn't matter when the Bible say people are prosperity. You prosperity people. But see, money ain't gonna get you happy. It'll be temporary. Money ain't gonna heal your body. Money ain't gonna bring nothing away. Just checking out of here. Money ain't gonna heal you. The woman in the Bible, she spent all she had with the issue of blood. She, and until she went to Jesus, she didn't get healed until then. And some of y'all. You trying to do this, you you trying to do that, baby. You coming up every other way other than inside Jesus. The Bible said if you come, you coming up any other way other than Jesus. The Bible said you a thief and a rock. And you're trying to get things and you want things to happen for you. And why is it every time I start trying to go up, bro? Oh. Why is every time I start trying to go up? Look like something happened. That's right. And it pulls me down. Can I pray for you? Come on. Don't be like the rest of us. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry, God will tell you. Because let me tell you something. Jackson, they might be some decent nose and fuck. They gossip and fuck. They don't know. I just know the fuck. Yeah, yeah. You hear what I'm saying? They know. Yeah. You come down here, you know, they know. They got nothing else to do but talk about it. Tell down their sisters and brothers. Them over there on that Facebook, too. They gossip. Because when the man of God preached, they go out and read me. Well, he didn't have to say that. Why he said that? Why he got that on? Why he got her up there? They read preach.
not going to sell you. You're going to be out here. How are you? God going to sell you. You ain't got to be tough. It's okay. And don't, don't worry about what they got to hear about this. No, don't worry about it. He going to sell you. All of a sudden, they gonna understand. You just gonna come on down. Yeah, God gonna do it. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. You so tired. You're tired. What you looking over there? They can't save you, baby. Can't nobody save you but God. I can't even save you. You a stubborn. Mmm. See, they worry now that it's gonna be. They worry. Me worry about it. Yeah, he gonna break it. I don't know what it's gonna come about, but he gonna break it. God gonna break his spirit. God gonna do it. And you gonna be good as God. Hallelujah. You gonna be good as God, but you gonna go through these things. Because you, you got a little stubbornness in you. You got a lot. But let me tell you something, it was passed down. You didn't just wake up one day and it happened. Trouble don't 
don't last always. Don't do it. Trouble don't last always. No, trouble don't last always. I thank God. I know we got the scripture. And the thing was, bless me. God can bless all of us. And if you in here today, you bless. You got a place to stay. No matter where you're living at, you bless. You got some clothes on your body, you bless. You got some food in your house, you bless. Money don't make you bless, baby. I'm a living witness. Money don't make you bless. The rich man died and lifted his eyes up in hell and being tormented. He was rich. He was filthy rich. He was so rich, he didn't want to help nobody else. Stop being so stingy. Y'all start helping. Help them. Stop worrying about them. they don't uh, they got more than me. That ain't the point. Help people. Help them. It ain't gonna hurt to help them. What's wrong? Watch this. You want somebody to give you something? So why won't you give? You give and it shall be given back unto you. Press down, shaking the hell of money no more. The Bible says it shall give it and them on Facebook. Uh-huh, cause see it's two on there already. I can feel this, I can feel it on there. Down to repeat this and say, Did you see Bobo? And show him the video. Oh, you'll get a lot of views on this. <laughs> Shall I live? Because I don't let people get close to me. Because I have anointing. I'm not so that. But I have to protect my anointing. I have to keep it shield because I have children. Three. I have six grand and three great grand. Two great grand. And I pray and I ask God that. Save my children, my grand, my great, 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 great. I said, Jesus, just in case you ain't came back, I want the prayers to be left him that can pull down. I don't want the dope selling. I don't want the drinking, the partying, and the club, and the lying, and the hole hopping, and the hopping, the holes to be left here. Somebody got to break the chain. Somebody got to break the chain. Because if you don't break it, it's going to keep going. Tell God to raise up somebody. That's right. I happen to be that one that he raised. My cousin them still do what they do. They, they, they ride an eight hundred thousand dollar Maybach Street. I don't care. But when they get in trouble, I'm the one they gonna call. Can you pray, Coach? That's how God do it. You wanna be that beacon of light that men can see the Christ and desire to have what you have down on the inside. Pray God the whole shot. Did it in But I blessed the little, little, little show. Don't worry about it. If I speak in tongue, I can interpret my tongue. That's somebody else. That's because I laid my life down before. Regardless how people lie on me, talk and say whatever they say, they don't even know me. But they tell you. Know, and the ones that talk and don't know, and the ones friend don't know. But it's okay with me. Because I got Jesus. And I got it all, Mom. And I got Jesus.
Day. Anybody want to talk about letting the Christmas spirit? Just come on down on this Mother's Day. Yes, yes, yes. Come on down. Somebody, Mother. My mama go. But one thing about it, some still have mother. Honor your mom. Honor your mother. Honor the mothers next door to you. And Pastor said, honor the mother that you can that buddy. Are your cousin, high teeth. There's anyone that's that one today. You may be seated there, Don. There's still room. There's still room. Hope you have a selection by the choir. Yeah, it's going to be.
everybody got away without sleeping the song. Amen. That's all right. We're not going to call out today. Amen. Uh, let me say uh, first that uh, we thank Pastor Bobo. Amen. Um, everything uh, preaching is preaching. And it don't and it don't have to be glamorous. Amen. What you said? I think glamorous preaching has gotten a lot of us in trouble. Amen. Because we think this walk of Christianity is all about prosperity. No, it's not. When it's all about Jesus. Amen. So, uh, thank you, Pastor Bobo. And then thank these young people. Yes. Yes. Uh, when you this, I don't know about you, but they lifted my spirits today. Yeah. 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 Uh, my spirit was down, but they lifted it. And so I'm grateful, and I'm grateful for these ladies who are up here today that I had to uh, I had to pull them up here kicking and screaming. Uh, I don't think they were really wanting to come up here. But you know, it's uh, it has been a great day. Great day. Uh, a great day. Good day. Uh, Sister Maddie, Sister Maddie, you are truly a worship leader. Amen. And uh, I'm grateful for you and uh, uh, Sister Heidi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, who's always I never see her have a down day. No. Every time you see her, she's ready to talk to you. Yes, she is. And, uh, and hug you and lift you up. That's right. Yeah. And I'm grateful for that. And to all of you mothers out there, to all of you ladies here at Blair's who are, uh, such have such beautiful spirits, uh, I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Amen. 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 So thank you uh, for all that you do and pour into us and we pour into you. Yeah. And we help one another. Amen. 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 So thank you so much. Sister Lynn, thank you for pulling this together. Uh, the children were all scattered out everywhere. And some of them playing summer ball, travel ball, and all of those things. But uh, we make do with what we have. Yes. Because God will take care of the rest if we just do our part. Amen. 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 Thank you uh, uh, to these, uh, uh, let me see, the missionaries. Uh, they uh, decorated back there. They brought some new tables and things uh, for our uh, fellowship hall. And they look, and they look good. Amen. They, they, they look good. And I, I, I kind of, I know it's Mother's Day. I was wishing it was another day because those tables and tablecloths look so good. I think we should have had a meal back there. Amen. But I know it's Mother's Day. Amen. I'm just talking. But uh, thank you all, uh, uh, Missionary President, uh, Ms. Dar Staten. And to all of you, Amen. to yes. everybody in here yes. that's played a part in what we have to give God glory for. Amen. So we all played a part in this. Yes, yep. Yep. Amen. No big eyes and little you. Everybody. If you didn't, even if you didn't pay any money, you prayed for it. That's right. Amen. Prayer is powerful. That's right. So if you didn't have no money to give, you prayed for it. You, 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 you spoke it into existence. Yes, sir. Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's what we're about. And so we prayed for it, and God seemed fit to make it happen. Amen. Amen. The 80 plus will lead us in uh, as we uh, dedicate uh, the new, our, uh, our renovated uh, fellowship hall, and, and even the hallways as well. Let me see. Who? There's Reverend Adam Merriweather. Amen. And then there is Miss Glorious Ellison, Miss Fanny, Miss Dar Staten. Now who am I missing? Miss Margie, who sits over there very quietly. Amen. And Miss Margie. And anybody else that's 80 and plus. Somebody else? Oh, I see you. She always had a mask on. I don't even know who she <laughs> Yeah, okay. Give me the name again. Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Looking all looking all robust. And, and look, she wears a mask and a lot of times I don't know. But uh she is uh she's a blessed woman. Yes. You don't know what she's been through, and I'm not gonna tell her business. But I'm going to say this. She's a blessed woman. Amen. 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 And so they will lead us. Uh, and then uh, Reverend uh, 
uh, Nelson, uh, Reverend Ida Merriweather, uh, Reverend Harold Womack, uh, Pastor Bobo, Elder Harper. We need to dedicate this place yes. with prayer yes. and anointing. With prayer and anointing. Amen. Amen. And so the names that I've called, I will ask that you assist in us making this happen. Amen. Amen. Now, also, ladies, mothers, don't leave without getting uh, your Mother's Day a gift from uh, Brother John. Brother John has a gift for each one of you. Amen. 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 For, uh, for Mother's Day. <laughs> On behalf of, of on behalf of the men, Thank you. Amen. Uh, it's the only time it's the only time you can get men to spend a little money. Amen. So, so don't leave without just getting your gift. Amen. And so uh, we're grateful uh, today. What we want to do is I really don't want to uh, dismiss until we're back there. Amen. And so all of you, uh, let me see. Where is uh where is Tiz? Where's Brother Tiz? Oh, he's in the back. Okay. Okay. Uh CJ. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> CJ. Uh and who was that singing? Was that Kylie? Okay, Kylie, come here. Come here. Little Miss Sassy Kylie, man. <laughs> what you all are going to do is you're going to lead, you're going to help the 80 plus to enter into the fellowship hall. Amen. Y'all going to help? All right, you promise. Even if I don't give you no candy, you'll do it anyway. I'm just kidding. Amen. But let us pray. Lord, as we as we go into this uh, renovated uh, facility, Lord, we just thank you for your loving kindness, your tender mercies, how you strengthen our brother, Brother Tommy Lee Merriweather, as he took it upon himself in spite of what he's been going through we're thankful and now as we are led by those uh, 80 plus even 90 we're grateful God because you kept them for a time such as this Bless us now as we go into this place. Yes. That we won't get braggadocious. Boast only in your goodness. Not what we've done, but what you have done through us. Thank you, Lord. Because when we look, if we really think about it, We've got a renovated church. God, we know that you are able. Strengthen us as we continue on. And as we go into this place, Lord, and we will we will anoint all corners, doors, and windows to keep out all evil. So there are those, Lord, in every church. who are enemies of the cross. So Lord, we just ask that you bless us going forward. And help us, Lord, that we may be satisfied with the blessings that you have afforded us. Help us to be satisfied. Help us to glorify you in all that you have done. Thank you now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Tommy is back there in the back. Brother Tommy, would you stand, sir? Uh, and uh, 
All of the 80 plus if you would stand. Okay, y'all go down there and be ready back there by Brother Tommy and uh, uh, Brother Leonard. Would you stand back there as well? And uh, there's T is right there. Okay, and uh, get all of the 80 plus. Let me see. Uh, wait a minute. What am I thinking? All these 80 plus, they're all women, so they need escorts. All right. Uh, CJ, you escort somebody. And then, uh, let me see. Where are the guys? Who? We'll yeah. go ahead and escort one of those ladies if you would. Escort them to the back. Wait a minute, don't go yet. Wait. I want you to have a I want you to have a bow on your arm. All right, is that everybody? All right. And I think Brother Ted is back there waiting. So uh that everybody. We don't want to leave nobody out. We don't want to leave anybody out. And then once the eighties go down and just right, stop right there before you get into the fellowship hall. Stop there. And then those who are seventy plus, if you would get up and go down as well, and then the rest will follow you all. Seventy plus, saying seventy plus. If you want to be seventy, saying I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now, 70 plus then. Amen. All right. All right. Okay. Brother John, if you would go ahead and get what you need to get so you can pass it to them when they come in. Uh, okay. And we're going to see everybody back there. So don't leave, okay? Okay. 